You're such a fucking dictator! Why the fuck not? He is not staying the night! Oh He's a god. bomb! I, I don't, don't even know shit. why you are with me! What do you want? Man, I'll come by for that drink you offered, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, you're here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. <laughs> okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. Look, I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years, and I got out alive. That makes me the right age. <clears throat> you look like a good kid, but if you want my advice, you give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you're gonna rip people off and get paid for it. It's called capitalism. Hmm. So what I saw the other day was like, when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well, and today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? No. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot. Who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that. I tell you what. <sighs> Least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. <sighs> it's not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you. <sighs> Let's take Amanda's car. But you know what? It's getting to be a bit much. I have no idea how you cope. Of course I cope. I'm a woman. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> but girl, I done done all that I can do. But you know how boys are. Wait a minute. Oh, girl. Whew. Hey, how much further? We ain't even gone five yards yet. Okay. I know. I'm just asking. This is spirit walking. Exercises body and soul. It's all the rage. We are women we and are we women. are free. Free and free. We are women. Here we are free. We are women. Here we are shouting. We are women. We are women. Damn. F, is that your auntie? Yeah, thank God I missed her crazy ass. She's spirit walking this shit now, man. That's just her attempts to... Hey, hey, don't be talking shit about your auntie, man. She got... I mean, she cool as a motherfucker, man. Come on. Come with. We gotta go pick up some shit from around the corner, man. We can walk and talk at the same time, my nigga. Why the fuck we can't drive? Around the block with Chop? You need to walk with your fat ass. <sighs> yeah, okay, you tall, linky son of a bitch. You! You fucking asshole! Ah! Listen, he, he's the fucking asshole, okay? He smashed my TV, and he took me to the beach. The beach, with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day, too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes, and he just went. I'm getting a cab. Coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. <sighs> oh, 
Looks like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm a dancer. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, Jane. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Plus, we're taking you out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you got a killer pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Hey. Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey. No. Hey. Shit, Ain't Daddy. cool, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, oh, hey. Oh, oh, man. I like him. What's the problem? You're such a oh. jerk. Come on. Dad, you dumbass. These guys are serious. Yeah, well, so am I. Talk to the scene of my fucking boat. Oh, motherfuckers. Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comp the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand! Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand! On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud! We hooked up, man! You come into my house? Take my money and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. Yeah. My bad. Seriously. Oh. How fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Oh, hey. Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Oh. Are you fucking serious, nigga? Ha! Fucking A! Let's see how he like that! Whoa, man! Fuck! Fuck him! And fuck his deck! Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Who are you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. Now, Franklin, maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo, it, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, got a question for you. Uh, what did you pull an architectural 
significant modernist wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills. I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I was a thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will <sighs> need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, Noah. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might. Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both. your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just... Why you to do something besides sit there eating? Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
just wish we could do things together. Yeah, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks, play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Hey, man. Tracy. Yo. Amanda. Amanda. You better not be. Not in my house. Fuck you, Michael. Go away! I'm paying that turd 150 bucks an hour to fuck my wife in my own bed? Michael, go away! Oh, no, I'm sorry, bro. She said you had an arrangement. You and I are gonna have an arrangement. I'm gonna arrange your fucking funeral. I'm really sorry, bro. I'll cop this session. I promise. You are dead, man. Oh. Fuck. Dead! Come here! Ah! Fuck, man. Hey, you! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked a prick in my bed. <laughs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! <laughs> Imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? Uh, Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the... Um, oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever holy hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right, I say... Kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dawg. I know, okay, but I, I'm sorry. I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay, Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both that you boys are at the foundry and where you had heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You asked me. Ah! I got you, you dick. Oh. Uh, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh. What was that? Oh. Oh. Get the oh. fuck off me. Uh, I, I thought I was on that guy. Oh. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. Well, good for you! I still ain't at this heli! T, the train's coming to a stop. You in the chopper? Roger that! Ready for takeoff! Get out of the car, Ron! Any time to think. Run! Jesus. 
Bob, too much more of that, and maybe I won't be dead by 35. Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete. Living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat. And now, you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand, you understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor, the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Well, hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby! Yeah! Oh, this better be <laughs> fucking good! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus! Fuck. Ah! Oh. Man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home, this is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. Is in hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. All right. It's perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be dead men in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job, not your call to make. Nah, nah, your job. Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get uh, your own! Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. Oh. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Virgin suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? Couple kids pulling jobs, the big one. I know it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again. With Lester and Franklin on board. We can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Nah. Right. You keep the case. Fuck me. Okay, hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every day. Inch of the way, all right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying kind. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! and fire! Fucking time!
time. You're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. He's won. Ban him. I have a video. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I Ooh. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay. But any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, uh, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chung is uh, pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. What the fuck is wrong with him? I'm out. No, don't go! Please, I beg you. If you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't. But we hear that Trevor Phillips' corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out, we partner, make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing! Well, let me show you the operation. This is us. Might dilute what our operation's all about. Shit, Trevor! We ain't got long! Whoa, 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 whoa. manner, chef! These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. <laughs> Chang and his humble servant. Hey, Lao uh, Shung! <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right? Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Go on now. Nice, right? Oh, <laughs> Ample room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! No. Tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, Chef. Help me! If I knew we were having visitors, what is that, a little spring clean? Ortega has always been cool with us before. Take the 40 mil. This is extremely unprofessional. Business partners out of the ice chest. Yeah, all right, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> I think we have seen quite enough. Uh, I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! friend you are out of business the lost MC are out of business the guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips enterprise or they ain't going saying something don't make it true <laughs> 